Welcome to the Heavy Music Awards 2022 in association with Amazon Music. And now, please welcome your host for the evening, Alex Baker. Holy shit! <laughs> yes! My God, it feels so good. Who feels good to be back? Here we are for, believe it or not, the sixth annual Heavy Music Awards. Sweet Jesus. Where does the time go? Death draws ever closer, my friend. I'm so, I'm so excited to be back here for another huge celebration of our beautiful, wonderful scene. Do you know what? I was up in the bar earlier chatting to the guys in Harriet and I was talking about how it feels like I've come home. They articulate, they're like, Alex, it's because you've come home. I was like, yes, I'm here with my community, the best fucking fans on earth. Give it up for you guys. So I think it's time we gave out our first award. Do you want it? It's awards time. Let's do this. And the first award of the night is best podcast and it's presented by someone I've been playing on my show on Kerrang Radio for so many years. They are one of the most talented artists I've had the pleasure of knowing. Give it up for Zand! Ah, yeah. All right, let's take a look at the finalists then, shall we? Best Podcast, presented by Amazon Music. The Downbeat, Hell Bent for Metal, Life in the Stocks. On Wednesdays, we wear black, peer pleasure, Sapinen, The State of the Sea, And the winner is uh, the one, the only, on Wednesdays, We Wear Black. Oh my God. Oh, that's a brick. That's fucking heavy. It is a brick, I'm not gonna lie. Thank you so much. What the fuck? Oh my God. We've got a couple of people to thank. We want to say thank you to Craig Reynolds from The Downbeat, who's such a champion. Um, Also to all of the other people who uh, um, were the nominees. Thank you to Alex Holcomb for being an important part of our journey. We love you, Alex. Thank you to The Heavy Network for helping us launch, and Curtis Sharkey for being the best PR ever. Ten years ago, I was speaking to somebody in the industry who ran a magazine, and they said to me, you can never put a black face on the cover of something because only black people will buy it. I know, right? Us winning this award tonight proves that you are here for us. (laughs) This is a win for all of us. So thank you so much. The freaks, the geeks, the nerds, the gribos unite. Woo, woo, woo! Thank you. This category shows love to those who are better with a pen or a computer than they are with a guitar or drums or vocals, but who are still every bit as much as important in our world. The category is Best Album Artwork. And here to present it is the icon that is Jamie Lenman and the incredibly hilarious man. I'll t- talk about this guy in a minute. Schaefer Bates, get out here. How's everyone feeling? Have a good night. You join me at the altar. What about Static Dress? They're fucking sick, yo! I want to say congratulations to Sophie and the Wednesday team for winning the podcast one. Shay, how are you feeling? Hungover. Yeah, hungover, <laughs> fuck. So, who, uh, okay, here's, let's look at the finalists for the best album artwork. Let's check it out. Best album artwork. Arkansas. 
politics for those that wish to exist. Converge and Chelsea Wolf, Blood Moon One. Empower to serve, conquering. Mastodon, hushed and grim. The offspring, let the bad times roll. Of mice and men, Echo. Trivia, in the court of the dragon. So much good artworks. But there can only be one winner. Shafe, you're gonna tell him who's won best album art. Come on now. And the winner is Trivia! <laughs> What's up everyone? Matthew K. Hafey here from Trivium. I want to say thank you so much to everyone who made this incredible award possible. The In the Court of the Dragon piece by Matthew Noiser is absolutely breathtaking. To be able to see it in person, to be able to have it at our hangar every single day. And what an award. So congratulations to Matthew. Congratulations to all the Trivium Shogun at Worldwide. We miss all of you so dang much in the UK. You know that is our home there. That is our first home. So we can't wait to get back there and see you all in January. My friends, thank you so much for this once again. We truly appreciate it. See you all soon. Thank you so much to all of you who voted for my work. Thank you to Trivium, to Justin, to Erica from Heaven, and all the fans. You know, this award means a lot to me because this painting is probably the biggest and the most ambitious composition I did up to date. So to see that it receives such a feedback is just perfect. So thank you once again, and you guys have a great night. Who is the ultimate heavy metal band? 
Oh, man. Mm. The ultimate heavy metal bands. Oh my god, that's so difficult. Slayer. I would agree with Slayer. Also, uh, Pantera. That is a ridiculously complicated I question. I know. You're allowed to say more than one if you need to. Yeah, normally I'm really, really good at answering things quickly, but that is really, really difficult. Made it in classic. We're talking heavy metal. All starts with Sabbath. I'm going to say Maiden too. Alright. Yeah. Oh man, there's too many. I was going to go straight. My first shout was Slipknot. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ultimate heavy metal band. It's going to oh. be Metallica, isn't it? Architects. Architects. Everyone's going to say I'm biased, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Slipknot to the fucking world. Black Sabbath. <laughs> Queen. Ooh, that's a phenomenal answer. I'm gonna go and just say Queen. Have you heard like Stone Cold Crazy? Come on. No, you're absolutely right. It's heavy they bring shit. it. They do bring it every <laughs> time, yes. Holy shit, I've been 
profile in this category for the past couple of months on my show on Kerrang Radio. It is so hard to call it. Luckily, we've got a couple of people here to call it, to get them out here. From the O2 Forum, Kentish Town, it's one of my favourite people in the music industry, Zoya Rossi and the inimitable Wargasm. Get out here, people. Woo! Oh, yeah! Yes. Hello. We're here to present the uh, best breakthrough. It's an important award because there's a really good fucking scene coming out in the UK at the moment, let's be honest. There's a bunch of bands that'll be here next year. There's some incredible shit going on this year. Best UK Breakthrough Artist. Presented by O2 Forum, Kentish Town. What villain? Cassie Ant. Harriet. Kim Kupichi. Pupil Slicer. Static Dress. Witch Fever. Are you ready? Would you like to do it? I'm ready. The winner of Best UK Breakthrough Artist is... Cassie X! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! And I got to serve it to them, so this feels fucking amazing that you guys are giving it to me, so... Fuck! <laughs> Fuck yeah! This is mental! Just want to say a big thank you to the whole team that have been involved in this, because it's been such a small team. And we've done it all independently, so... Fucking, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Thank you so much. Best international artist. If you've seen the finalists in this category, you'll know that it is utterly stacked. There's so many great artists who could have got into the category this year. I'd say it's pretty hard to pick a a favourite seven, let alone a favourite one, but you guys did it. You voted in the hundreds of thousands of who should win this category. So pat yourselves on the back is here to tell you who's taking the dub for best international artist. It's a rising empire's Robert Bauman and BBC Radio 1's Daniel P. Carter. Right, so the nominees for best international artist. Let's go. Best international artist. Presented by a rising empire. A day to remember. There to. actually a lot of fun. What are we saying? Here's what I can hear. Ah! There you go. And the winner is Best International Artist. Yeah, come on. Bear Tooth! Yeah, what a good time! 
Well, seriously, thank y'all so much for this. For real, we've been coming here for quite a few years now, but without the support of all of y'all, I don't know how the fuck we could get this. We definitely couldn't, but this means the fucking world. Seriously, to all of you, thank you, first and foremost. And to my beautiful wife, wherever you are up in the stands, I love you very much. But seriously, thank y'all. That's it. Yeah, we're out of here. Now, I'll tell you what, I've been a supporter of UK music for the past 15 years plus, and I am humbled every single day by the unbelievable talent that comes out of these, these islands. It's unbelievable. How do you even begin to pick this one apart? How? We're here to steer the announcement boat directly to Success Island. It's Def Havana. Hello. Um, how are we all doing tonight? This is weird. That was a nicer reception than we normally get at any shows. So uh, thank you very much, everyone. Um, James has lost his voice, so I won't be doing a lot of the heavy lifting, I unfortunately, I can't for you. Speak. Right, we're presenting the award for Best UK Artists. If there right? is one. And the nominees are... Best UK Artist. Presented by Alliance. Architects. We've heard the people's voice. Bring me the horizon. Don Greco. Enter Chicago. She sleeps. The winner is Architects. Thank you. This is, uh, this is very cool. Is everybody having a good time? I just want to say thanks to everyone that voted for us. This is absolutely incredible. The fact that we are still around, we are still writing music, and the fact that everybody is so supportive of us is so lovely. And honestly, you're incredible. So thanks so much. We love you guys. Thank you. Cheers. Right, next up, we're going to head a bit off-piste. Off-piste. For a totally new award, which we've never even announced until now. Yeah, thought that might get your attention. The award is the Innovation Award. And it's presented to an artist who has stepped up, said, in your face, to convention, and blazed a trail for all others to follow. I've already said enough. Without further ado... I'd like to present to you the winner of the inaugural Heavy Music Award for Innovation. Watch this. The music world is feeling the impact of COVID-19. Hundreds of thousands of jobs in the live music industry are at risk. 19% of musicians were considering abandoning their careers. Also, 16 to 25 year olds had lowered their ambition. The consumption is higher now since 2006. It takes 5,000 streams to generate about 20 quid to the artist. A sustainable environment. Very hard to know what the future holds. Like we don't even know what the future of live music holds. We're not going to stand aside and watch our man die. Time for us is our life. There is zero chance any major touring is going to happen before it's summer 2021. There's an even bigger question mark above it. The way people actually consume music is changing. The context of court, management, publishing. We're doing it for the entire existence of our band. People who care about this band have a place where they go, this is how much I care about this band. We don't technically need anyone else. We can be supported and fulfilled directly by our fans. They're just, they're so important to our band. 
They just don't get the credit they deserve. By joining, you get exclusive content and updates, exclusive merchandise, access to members only warehouse events. We're going to be doing secret members only shows, podcasts, drum run throughs, unlimited access to tour tickets, car run throughs for every single song on this next record, live stream writing sessions with our band in the studio. You can be part of our new music and be involved with how we create it. Vocal technique tutorials, how to warm up, an extensive look into vocal surgery. I'm going to give you guys the power to overcome things like anxiety and mainly to show you guys that it's not a live sentence. I'll show you my approach to filmmaking and help you capture those moments that so often overlook. We're going to look in detail at the whole design process and self-managing, how to take your band from you and your friends to one day doing it for a career. I just want to give them the fucking world basically because they deserve it and they're propping bands like us but the fate of While She Sleeps should lie in the hands of the people that matter. This shit isn't working the way it is and I feel like While She Sleeps is the perfect band to deliver that message. A lot of people are going to tell you that you can't achieve your goals on your own. We're here to say, fuck that. All our fans are like What can you even say? Raise the fucking roof off this place. The HMA 22 Innovation Award winner is Wild She Sleep. Yes! Mad! How's everybody doing? So, I just want to say, first off, there's a lot of people in this room and outside this room doing amazing things to change the music industry and pointing it in the right fucking direction. This is for everyone. For everyone who did this thing with us, we took a big risk a couple of years ago and started something that we had no idea if it was going to work or not. This award is not ours. It's everyone who took this fucking risk with us. We appreciate your support. Thank you so fucking much. Uh, yeah. Thanks for that, Matt. Um, yeah, I think the, the main thing for While She Sleeps has always been the sense of community that we have found within the punk rock and metal scene as a whole. We've always felt very uh, accepted and loved and everybody in this room contributes to continually moving that shit forward and making sure every motherfucker is yeah. accepted. This shit's yours, not ours. Thank you very fucking much. Have a good night, everyone. Um, we're a black hole holding the absence, we're from Cardiff in Wales. We are massively, massively honoured to be here. Thank you so fucking much to everybody involved in the Heavy Music Awards. Before we go any further, make some noise for this wonderful event. We've spent the last two months touring America and Australia, and we're the luckiest fucking band in the world. And every day, we've thought about this incredible fucking UK music scene, and we've missed it so much. You guys are awesome, so fucking big up to yourselves. On that note though, I need more fucking energy. This is a song called Like a Shadow, I wanna see you off your feet.
instructions is in order as you took home an HMA tonight. Woo! Feel it. Feel it feel is it, it really heavy? Oh my, oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah really. Well, you could kill someone with that. <laughs> I know, that's the plan. But, oh, oh, oh plan. okay. Things are going to get a little crazy tonight. <laughs> What's running through your minds? It's absolutely fantastic. Nothing. Static noise is in my mind right Aww. now. The hard thing is with starting a podcast is you assume that nobody's going to care because it's a podcast and yes. we're so different. Like there is no other podcast like us in the yeah. alt scene. Not only looks wise, gender or whatever, also content wise. Mm -hmm. um, and so we thought no one would care. And apparently we were told backstage that there was a massive boat and it was a clear cut win for Swiss so Way Black. Wow. Get it, because I mean, all we do is talk about sex and vaginas and people seem to like it. I mean, that's the appeal, <laughs> isn't it? Here we are. Every week we got called out by people being like, you can't talk about your vaginas, you can't talk about your gender, you can't talk about this. They called us racist because Sophie is black and made a joke about being black. And it was like, guys, we're just trying to vibe, okay? <laughs> just let us be us and have okay. fun. But um, yeah, we got called out a lot. But then because of that, we built such a resilient fan base of people who really get us just because we're so honest and open. And I think that's the great thing, like going into that room and seeing people cheer for us. It's like they, every single one of those people resonate with us in the message that we're trying to promote, which is very nice. Hello, Hello. you lovely winner. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? So good. Oh, oh my God. Best UK breakthrough artist. Like, what's Man. running through your mind right now? That's mad. It's crazy. You know what's funny is this is actually heavy, so it's fully a heavy musical. But it's <laughs> Dad joke, sorry, but it is. Yeah, is a brick. Oh, you're gonna get your workout in too. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what was running through your mind when you found out? Hey, you're taking this home. Mate, like, I don't even know. Like, it's been it's been really crazy because the past two years have been like quite intense for me. So. Getting this was insane, and then Wargasm presented it to me. It means a lot. It, honestly, like it really does. So I feel really, really happy and really honoured. I'm pretty pumped. Yeah, I mean, we're honoured to get the award. It's awesome. Super cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. It, honestly, it's really cool. I mean, you know, we put a lot of work in over here. Been coming here for a long time, but uh, yeah, I mean, didn't expect this. We're, you know, and like. The other winners that have previously won this, it's, it's an honor to be in that like camp of bands. So. Now when it does come to international audiences and then being back home, are there any massive differences that you've actually found over the years? I don't know. I, I mean, I think it's always a bit more special when we go international, just because it's yeah, well, it's harder for us to get there. We don't play, you know, we don't play here as often. Um, so I think there's a, I don't know, people have a good sense of like respect of what it takes for bands to. Um, go international and play, which is really cool. But I mean, a good show is a good show, but it just feels very special to take such a big trip and get such a warm welcome, you know? A huge congratulations is in order as you have won an award for innovation tonight. Yeah. So how are you feeling? Are you yes. absolutely psyched? Uh, well, we have no idea, so this is amazing, really. We're buzzing, yeah. We, we made something almost two years ago that we took a risk on and didn't know if it was gonna work and Thanks to the fucking amazing group of supporters in this beautiful music scene that we've got somewhere here apparently and which is yeah. fucking great. Yeah. We actually saw a few of the site members down there as we were uh, doing the acceptance speech, which was nice. It was very nice, yeah. yeah. It was very lovely. Like, it sounds maybe a bit cheesy, but it definitely is as much for them as it is us. This last couple of years has not been easy for anyone and having that as a focus for us, as well as the support that our fan base has given us, it's been unbelievable. Like, yeah. it's, it really is cool, and we keep like saying it, but the sense of community that comes with that for us is, is one of the main reasons why we're in it. The punk rock and metal scene have always been accepting of us as youngsters all the way through to now, so it feels like that's kind of what we're getting from from this whole community, the, the, yeah. the Patreon and the like, society that we. It's created. as real as like. A couple of years ago, like look look at the situation everyone was in, and like everyone who joined Sleep Society legitimately saved our band. Yeah. Like we're here and we're in the safest place we've ever been as a band, and that's literally thanks to everyone who joined and did that shit. So like, no, this that, shit's we for get, you. Like we get like such cool opportunities to do more than just like be a touring yeah. band. You know, we like really get to connect with them on a personal level. Just come up with some crazy shit together. It's amazing. <laughs> this award is literally not ours. It's, we're gonna melt the fucking thing down and and give it to <laughs> them all no, as no disrespect. Yeah, like no, it's a beautiful that's thing. Everyone can like, share. Like I think it, it weighs so much that we might just melt it down and make necklaces out of it or something out of it and give it to them all because yeah. it's theirs.
Award that was taken, an award that was taken home last year by none other than Raoul Reynolds of Enter Shikari fame. Some of the Shikari boys are in the house tonight. What a fucking trailblazing band. Unbelievable. Who's going to get it this year, though? We're about to find out. So, to pin the proverbial winner's announcement pin on the best production donkey, 
Yep. <laughs> a blue-eyed giant and fresh from US headline tour, the one and only Kelsey Carter. Give it up. Best production, eh? So, who's got the girthiest tunes out here right now? Let's have a ganders. Right. Nominees are... Best production. Presented by After Love Music. Bullet for my Valentine. Bullet for my Valentine. Gojira. Fortitude. Holding absence. The greatest mistake of my life. Mastodon. Hushed and grim. Spirit Box, Eternal Blue. Trivia, In the Court of the Dragon. While She Sleeps, Sleep Society. Who's the winner, Kelsey? And the winner is... Are you fucking ready? Are you fucking ready? Oh, bullet for my Valentine, baby. Yeah! Oh, look at that. That is actually heavy. So, uh, hi, my name's Carl. I'm not in bullet for my Valentine. Uh, but I did produce the record, so. And this is insane. Um, so yeah, I spoke to Matt this morning and the guys can't make it. Uh, they're in Germany, they're playing festivals and they couldn't be more stoked to have even been nominated for this award because making a record isn't, it's not an easy road. It's thousands of hours of turning silence into the ideas that you guys love. So for us to be nominated and to win is insane. So from the bottom of all of our hearts, on behalf of Bullet and myself, thank you very much, Heavy Awards. Thank you very much. Right, so we're truly heading into the business end now. Before we get there though, by the way, all the winners are getting these badass little heavy music pendants from Parabellum. So they're not just winning the... Uh, the awards themselves, they're winning these lovely little pendants. Am I allowed to throw this one out? I'm not gonna throw it out. I'll find out, I'll find out. Right, it doesn't get much more business end than best international breakthrough artists. And to tell us who's nominated for this coveted category, please welcome to the stage. <laughs> While she sleeps, along with goth girlfriends, no face, get out of here. We've just been on here and we're back on. Everyone's still good. Woo! We're back. We are presenting the Best International Breakthrough Artist. So the nominees are Best International Breakthrough Artist. Circle Pit. Presented by Goth Girlfriends. And the winner 
for the best international breakthrough artist goes to Kenny Hoopla! Fuck yeah! What is. <laughs> Shaq, yo, what is up? Oh my God. I've never won anything in my life. Um, I just want to thank myself. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I want to give a shout out to the fans. Um, you know, all, all I really care about is heavy music and, and rock music. And I want to give a shout out to the nominees. Thank you to all of the OGs, the higher ups, all the bands that paved the way through for me. I'm truly grateful to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Fuck yes! Shout out to everybody nominated. Shout out to Kenny Hoopla! Right, next up, if you've been paying attention recently, in the last few weeks or so, you'll already know the recipient of this next award. Have you had your eyes peeled? That's the question. This next one is called The H. And it's awarded each year to a person or group who have made a significant positive contribution to the heavy music scene over the last year. The scene that we all love in this room so much. The scene that we're all here to celebrate tonight. The winner this year has been making that significant positive contribution for way longer than a year. And now, in fact, they have raised a staggering one million pounds. Yes for charities, including our very own charity here at Heavy Music Awards, Nordoff Robbins. I'm talking, of course, about an annual charity ride which has grown into a huge international event. The unstoppable Heavy Metal Truants. To present the award, please welcome to the stage Skindred's Mikey and Aria alongside Ticketmaster's Ed Lee. Get out here, people. We played Download Festival so many times. It's always a huge honor to take down that stage. And over the years, we've built a true bond with everyone involved with the festival. To show you just how amazing the heavy metal truants are, here's a video. Heavy metal truants, it's time to go. No sleep till download. of Ticketmaster UK, we're proud to present the H to the one and only Heavy Metal Truants. Make some noise. Hey, guys, before I say anything else, yeah. Before I say anything else, guys, can I just say how nice it is to be back? This is a great event. Give it up for the Heavy Music Awards. Yeah, so, you know, I, I got to say, it's funny because even 10 years in the Heavy Metal Truants, people still seem surprised that this exists. And to me, it's always made perfect sense because when someone falls down in the mosh pit, you pick them back up. That's what charity metal is all about. All that said, I felt kind of 
unsure whether I was worthy to accept this award on behalf of the heavy metal truants because all we've done for the last 10 years is walk and run and cycle and raise money. It's the four kids' charities that we raise money for that truly do the work without reward and without thank you. Now, those four charities, in their own ways, all make a difference to kids and young people because kids are not the most important thing. They are absolutely everything. So Teenage Cancer Trust, Nordoff Robbins, Childline, and Save the Children all make a difference. Now, I'm going to hand over for a moment to one of these wonderful people, Layla from Nordoff Robbins, here to represent those charities. Would you please give it up for the true hero tonight? Hi, everyone. I am Layla. I am from the charity Nordoff Robbins Music Therapy, one of the charities that are supported by the heavy metal truants. And um, we believe in the value of music for society. We believe that through music, we could connect with people. And in that space of music and creating music, we are all equal. And we are so grateful for people like the heavy metal truants who, you know, a lot of us think about doing good. They put the action in. They get on their bikes and they ride and they raise money for charities like Nordoff Robbins Music Therapy. So I am beyond honored to be here tonight. Please give it up for the heavy metal truants. I'll get, off, I'll get off of this in a second. I just want to say a few really important thank yous to our charities for inspiring us and giving us a sense of purpose. To everybody on the Heavy Metal Truants Committee, Phil Birch, Helen Curl, Dave Sheck, all these people that have been putting the time in over the years. Obviously, all the hundreds of Heavy Metal Truants who have joined us for 10 years, thousands of people who have donated, countless people in the industry who have put their time and efforts in and of course, all of you for supporting us and being a part of this magnificent story. There's one man, though, that I have to dedicate this award to along with the charities. He couldn't be here tonight because his other job is managing Iron Maiden. His name is Rod Smallwood. He's the inspiration for this. He's the reason why this happened. And I think it's such a great statement about what we are as an organization because it brings so many wonderful people together. And when people tell me that this isn't really a community and it doesn't have anything to offer, as of today, I can point to 1,100,520 reasons why they're wrong. So thank you so very much. Join us next year. Love you very much. Thank you, Dave, and everyone at Heaven Music Awards. Give it up for them. This next song goes out to Bear Turf. You guys need to warm up for them a lot more. This is a song called Afterlife. I need to see you jump.
너는 하지 않 for us to welcome the best live artist category back this year. Yeah. I tell you what, you know like Janie Mitchell said, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. I found myself sitting at home going, wouldn't it be amazing to go to a show? Oh no, no fucking shows. Covid fucking ruined everything, but we're back. Shows are filling up. It's been amazing to see people going out to see My Chemical Romance. Anyone get to see My Chemical Romance? Fuck yeah. Here are the Covies, Janine and Hamish with Kid Bookie. <laughs> uh, I'm far too drunk to say anything witty, so I'm going to pass this microphone to. So sorry. There's teleprompters. <laughs> Take the mic, my brother. I made some noise! Best Live Artist Presented by Marshall Bring me the horizon Book for my valentine Don Broco Enter Chicago Sleep Token Wargasm While She Sleeps And the winner for the best live artist in this friggin' universe is Enter Shikori! Gonna, it's, it's quite heavy, I'm going to put it down. Firstly, thank you so much to anybody that voted for us. It means the world. Thank you so much. And uh, we've always said that we don't play to an audience, we play to a community. So thank you all. Anyone that bought a ticket, anyone that came to one of our shows, thank you for being part of our community. We love you for it. Thank you. I'm, I'm sure every band that wins this one says it, but you know what? It's fucking true. We got to dedicate this to our really hardworking touring crew. Everyone that helps us put on the productions, they, they deserve this as much as we do. So thank you so much to them. Thank you to my beautiful wife sitting up there. It's our fifth, fifth wedding anniversary this weekend. We thought we'd come spend it with you. Massive big up to Nordoff Robbins. Massive big up to the heavy metal truants because I'm fucking cycling with them on Wednesday, aren't I? I'm doing it. It's going to kill me, but I'll get there. I'll get there. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Mate, I tell you what, I've seen that band probably live more than any other band in history. First time I played those guys on Kerrang, they didn't even have anything out. I had to stream it off their MySpace page. 
okay time for plan B out to the nation from them. It sounded terrible, but I had a good time doing it. Fucking unbelievable. Right, it's a brand new category. No resting on laurels round here. I can assure you, best single is up next. Packed with more bangers than a sausage shop. You're about to be told who's taking it home by yours truly, the band, not me, and Sharp Tones, Sharp Tone Records, Nick Azinas. Get out here, Nick. How are we doing? All right. Are we all right? No, you're all left. Uh, all righty. Now, uh, let's take a look at the finalists. Best single presented by Sharp Tone Records. Architects Meteor. Bring me the horizon. Die for you. Code Orange. Out for flight. Holding nonsense. Afterlife. Spirit Box, circle with me. Trivia, in the Court of the Dragon. Youngblood, Fleabag. And the winner is... Bring me the horizon! Alright everyone, how's it going? Hope you're having a good night tonight. Thank you so much for the award. It means fucking well to us. Thank you to all the fans and everyone who voted. And cheers to every music awards for putting this night on and celebrating Rock of the World and Make That Shy. Uh, sorry we couldn't be there. I'm sure you'll be fine without us though. Have a good fucking Nizo. See ya. Bye. Now, the next category is the only award anyone has ever won for turning into the Terminator and killing their bandmates. Yeah. You know it. You know it straight away. This is exactly what Don Broco did back in 2020. It's best video, and here to present a Rob Kellas from TBT TV. And cancer bats, Liam Cormier. Heavy music awards. How the fuck we doing? Oh, what the fuck is that? Guys, if I can just say one thing, it's a thank you. To the best fucking community in the world. There is no better community than the heavy music community. There is no one more accepting, more inclusive than the heavy music community. So thank you. After you. After you. And the nominees are. Best video. Presented by Lightwave Productions. Bring me the horizon. Die for you. Cold orange. Out for blood. Don Broco. Manchester Super Red's number one fan. Electric Cowboy. Pump it. Born for one thing. Ice Nine Kills, featuring Jacoby Shaddix. Hip to be scared. Trash Boat, don't you feel amazing? The winner of Best Video 
Electric This is such a rewarding award for us and we have to thank you all for that. You know, whenever we do a music video, we always try to have fun. But the main goal we have is to, to make the people laugh, you know? And during COVID, we had such a hard time and we, it was the, the best goal we had, like to make you all laugh and enjoy what we're doing. And to be here in London and to win that award is the best thing that could happen to us after COVID. Thank you so fucking much. Really, from the bottom of our hearts. Man, I fucking love this scene. Do you know what he just said? You might not have been able to hear it. He said, best day of my fucking life. What a hero. I love that. I love that. Do you know what, guys? I hate to say it, because I could just hang out with you guys all day. But it's the last category. Yeah, I know. Right? That's a good thing. It's a good thing that you're booing that. I, I, I value that boo. <laughs> but uh, this has been a whole lot of fun. Thank you for sticking with, with me. Let's take it to the next level, though. Best album. It's the big one. Here to let you know who's in the mix. My God, talk about some guests. We've got... Here we're here. Bear with me here. We've got Wade and Chris from Alexis on Fire. Alongside BBC Radio One's Nels Hilton and Alex Holcomb! How are we doing at the Music Awards? We are presenting the best album. What a lineup this is. The nominees for Best Album are. Best Album. Presented by Amazon Music. Architects for those that wish to exist. Beartooth Below. Bullet for my Valentine. Bullet for my Valentine. Don Broco. Amazing things. Holding absence. The greatest mistake of my life. Spirit Box. Eternal Blue. Turnstile. Blow on. Tough competition. Uh, Steele told me I always wanted to swear at an award show, so. Holy fuck, London, here we are. Oh yeah. Both Wade and I are both very, very honored to be a part of this evening. Fuck yeah. Thank you, Christopher Steele. Without further ado. The winner of Best Album is... Architect! I'm going to put this down because it's so fucking heavy. Is everyone all right? Everyone feeling good? This is, um, this is really, uh, really fucking amazing. And uh, we worked really, really, really hard on this record. And uh, we pushed ourselves as a band to try and do some new and cool stuff. Um, we've been doing this band for a long, long time, like 15 years. So to be able to continue doing what we're doing is really, really special, and that's down to you. So thank you so much for supporting our band. It means the fucking world. And uh, yeah, thank you. Fuck yeah. 
This is for you. Thank you so much for supporting our band. You guys are amazing. We love you. Thank you. My God, so there it is. 55 kilograms of very heavy metal. If you see any of the bands out there, legitimately ask them to hold it. It's so heavy. It's ridiculous. You guys, you need to, it look like you need to lay off the shots a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I see a big smile coming from you. You're like, holy shit. Uh, it's been a whole lot of fun. My name's Alex Baker. I'm all out of time. I'm going to go and lose my shit to Boot Beartooth, who are going to be on this stage very, very soon. London, you've been beautiful. This is the Heavy Music Awards 2022. And until next time, keep fucking rocking on, guys. Big love. We're really, really stoked to always, uh, yeah, always happy to be, to be at the Heavy Music Awards and also to win awards is lovely. It sort of shows your hard work is... Uh, yeah, people like it. People voted for it. Yeah, very grateful. I'm just so grateful. Aww. Dream come true. <laughs> I mean, it's been incredible to see the growth back home that you've had. Did you ever kind of think in the beginning that it would reach the point to not only over here, but seriously, like the worldwideness that you've had recently? You know, yeah. Yeah, oh, I just, so you funny. know, no, you know, I just take it a day at a time and stay grateful. But there is another part of me that there's no other choice. I have to take it all the way, mm -hmm. so I'm grateful that there's a milestone in there. Excited, actually. This is super rad. It's very cool. You told me earlier how you were a little bit terrified about the whole thing, so I... Well, of course, yeah, <laughs> because, you know, record producers, we don't... We're not rock stars. <laughs> so to do award ceremonies like this and stuff is, is slightly out of the box for us, because we live in a box making records. Right. Um, so here we are, Val. It's been really fun for me just watching all the cycling you've been doing on this crazy road to download. And of course, as we talked in the past, like it can get really hectic when you're out there. And I recently saw the weather completely was not your friend the other day. Oh, yeah. So how do you kind of deal with that stuff when you know, yeah. hey, I have a destination, but things can maybe go a little crazy? Yeah, well, you know, it's uh, you know, actually our biggest fundraising year was when the bad weather was making national news. Um, but but it's 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 bad for you know the way you feel, but it's great for fundraising and also contributes to this this wonderful sense of adventure as well. That's incredible. You, know, you don't think I'm having a terrible time. You think, well, I'm just trying to make a difference here. And right. so the harder it is, that just shows your commitment. So, I love to know how much fun it was to actually put it together, go full on aerobics with each other. Um, it was actually it was pretty exhausting because I, I bet uh, we <laughs> needed we needed to do a lot of sports, um, and <laughs> we're not as fit as we might looked in the video so uh yeah it was it was exhausting but so much fun i think we yeah I, I don't know it was like i think it was one of the best videos um that we've ever made going awards really really happy with it having a, having a really good night and were you fantastic bands oh absolutely and were you taken aback by how heavy the actual heavy was yes yeah <laughs> well so we're, we're lucky enough that this isn't our first heavy music award oh don't we know uh, uh trophy but, so Chris has got one at his house that we won back in 2017. Yeah, yeah, it's put a hole in my floor. Yeah, <laughs> and he was saying it's really heavy. I was like, oh, I can take it, I can take it. Whoa! This one is called The Past Is Dead. Let's go. It goes like this.
one more fucking time. Hey, O'Connor! Drop that shit! What?